Hi guys, uh, welcome to Succession. So in terms of the uh, specification, you need to be aware of the primary succession from colonization by pioneer species to climax community. So what's the really important thing about the succession? It's the fact that at each stage in succession, certain species might be recognized, which change the environment. And uh, so that it becomes more suitable for other species with different adaptations. And then new species might change the environment in such a way that it becomes less suitable for the previous species. So the changes that organisms produce in the abiotic environment can result in a less hostile environment and change biodiversity. Okay, and there is one more topic in terms of the succession, which is conservation. And the conservation of habitats frequently involves management of succession. So, um, we will be looking at the uh, vocabulary first. So, the succession is the process by which an ecosystem changes over time, and the biotic conditions change as uh, abiotic conditions change as well. So, in fact, we, there are two types of the succession, primary and secondary, but for your specification, you need to be aware of the primary succession. Serial stages, there are the stages in the succession of communities in an ecosystem. Climax community is the ultimate species, uh, the ultimate species to colonize at the final stage of the succession. So there will be dominant organisms that will have different ecosystem system and they have different climax communities. So the climax community is a specific for the specific climate. And climax community, what we will see, has the highest biodiversity. Okay, and the pioneer species, so those are the first species to grow in the area with litter or not soil, for example. So they often uh, come along to change the hostile con uh, to change the hostile uh, conditions, so the other um, uh, species can uh, colonize. So uh, this is uh, how the succession starts, that there is nothing, there is no plant life. What happens later on, the pioneer species, so the first ones, come along and changes the, uh, the uh, biotic factors, abiotic factors. So at the end, we are going to get a um, stage uh, of the succession, which is called a climax community. So it's stable, rich uh, in soil, rich in nutrients, and uh, the biodiversity is the highest at that stage. So ecological succession, what we've seen so far, starts from the barren land okay then we've got the uh, primary uh, pioneer species colonizing mm. then we've got secondary tertiary okay species coming along and colonize at the end we are going to get a climax community which is the uh, uh, the last stage of the succession mm. the biggest difference between the beginning at the end of the succession is at the beginning, the uh, conditions are hostile, there is low species diversity and it's unstable. But when we're looking at the climax community, the conditions are less hostile, there is a high species diversity and stability. So uh, what we need to know about the uh, pioneer species, okay, it, there are examples of those here but they can reproduce in the asexual way, so it's quickly, okay? They can produce in fast amounts, okay? Because they could be wind-spreaded. There is a rapid uh, germination of seeds, so again, quick reproductions. They are able to photosynthesize even if the uh, light uh, is uh, not that much available. They're, mm, they are able to fix the nitrogen and they are tolerant to extreme conditions. So, um, looking further at the process of the succession, that's your model answer. So, you're looking at the colonization by pioneer species, which changes the environment, makes it less hostile. So, all the species can uh, colonize and survive. That will then change the uh, diversity stability will increase and at the end we are going to get a climax community 
So uh, succession, okay, the, mo uh, the common features of the succession is the fact that non-living abiotic environment becomes less hostile, there's a higher number and variety of habitats and niches, it's increased biodiversity, more complex food webs and increased biomass. So this is uh, just a quick table that compares primary and secondary succession. But as I've said, you don't need to really know about the secondary succession. But if you are interested in that topic, you can pause the video and have a look through that table now. But we're going straight to the questions. So uh, explain how the diagrams illustrates the features of an ecological succession. And unfortunately, I didn't snip to the diagram here, but uh, everything will be the same as on our previous uh, pictures. So colonization of the pioneer species, which are microscopic plants at the beginning, there will be death of those, uh, decomposition will change the uh, conditions to less hostile by increasing the organic matter. So new species can colonize and there will be increase in the diversity. Right. So here another question. We've got the table, okay, and we need to explain how the data provides the evidence of succession. So the five model uh, answers that we've seen before, now we need to apply here using the data. So using the data means you need to name the species, okay? So uh, how can you work out the pioneer species, for example? They are the ones that come in first. So you're looking at the numbers in here. OK, so that must be the pioneer species that could be pioneer species as well, because they are present at the beginning. So they will change the hostile conditions. So those species now can colonize. And that's what you need to then include. And you need to talk about the climax community as well. OK, saying that the biodiversity is the highest because you've got all of those. But them ones are the most common. So. Overall data shows an increase in species diversity, which we've just said. Those two species, due to being the, at the beginning, are pioneer species. So they're changing the uh, conditions. So then those two species can uh, colonize and survive. And, uh, and when we're looking at the table, OK, the species then will be out compete. OK, and uh, so we're looking at those ones here right so our pioneer species look the number of those it's really low compared to others so they've been out compete and in the climax community the uh, the highest number belongs to those two okay so uh, the stream eventually recover to reach a climax community and give three features of a climax community so the same species present, stable community, abiotic factors are less or more constant and populations is stable around the carrying capacity and carrying capacity is the maximum size of the population. Right, so that's everything uh, for succession. Make sure you've got a list of the keywords. See you later.